Bezu's identity. We're given the problem. Compute the greatest common divisor of 88 and 16 and the integers s and t such that s times 88 plus t times 16 equals the GCD of 88 and 16. We recognize that this is Bezu's identity. And we're going to use the following approach. First, we're going to use Euclid's algorithm to find the GCD of 88 and 16. And then we're going to use a simple equation that we often use to check our work when we do long division. So for example, 5 goes into 11 two times, 2 times 5 is 10, we have a remainder of 1. And to check that, we say 2 times 5 plus 1 equals 11, or Q, or quotient Q, times B plus R equals A. It's this equation, Q plus times B plus R equals A, that we're going to use, and that we're going to rearrange to look like S times A plus T times B equals GCDAB. So let's start with uh, Euclid's by finding the GCD of AB using Euclid's algorithm. Now Euclid's algorithm tells us, repeat, assign A mod B to R, assign B to A, and assign R to B until R equals 0, and when R equals 0, return A. If it's not equal to zero, we repeat the process over again. So we start 88 mod 16. 16 goes into 88 five times. Five times 16 equals 80. We have a remainder of R. So we have R equals eight, A equals 16, and B equals eight. Now R is not equal to zero. So it says until R equals to zero, R is not equal to zero. So we repeat the loop one more time. Now this time, We have mod uh, 16 mod 8, r equals 0, a equals 8, and b equals 0. Now this time, r equals 0. So we end the loop and we return a, which is 8. So the GCD of 88 and 16 equals 8. So Euclid's algorithm tells us that the GCD of 88 and 16 equals 8. We write that in the corner so that we remember it. And now we want to find S and T. Now, as we said, we're going to do that by using this common equation that we use to check our work with long division. Now, we didn't save these numbers, so we're going to, to calculate 88 mod 16 again. 16 into 88 goes 5 times. 5 times 16 is 80, a remainder of 8. Our quotient Q equals 5, R equals 8. We use these numbers in our equation. First, we rearrange our equation. We want Q times B instead of B times Q. Those are equal, but we notice that in, in, in uh, Bezu's identity, it says T times B, and B is on the right-hand side. So we want Q times B. We want B to be on the right-hand side. We put in our numbers. We take this expression to the other side. We subtract it from the right-hand side, and we subtract it from the left-hand side. And we end up with 88 subtract brackets, 5 times 16 brackets, equals 8. Now, if we compare this to Bezu's identity, it actually is quite similar now. But Bezu's identity says plus, and we have a negative. So we're going to change that to a negative. And we're also going to rec recognize that 1 times 88 equals 88. So 1 times 88 equals 88, and we say plus negative 5 to keep this equal when we take the positive outside. And now when we write Bezu's identity underneath, we can just read off S and T. 
So we were asked to find the GCD 8816, and we did, if that equals 8, and we were asked to find S and T. S equals 1, T equals negative 5, and that's it.